anil mixes cocoa with sugar in the ratio 3 to 2 so you are mixing two quantities cocoa and sugar which is 3 to 2 to prepare a mixture a and coffee with sugar so the content which is same in both of these mixtures is sugar one time you have cocoa another time you have coffee is 7 is to 3 to prepare the mixture b so you have a mixture a and you have a mixture b in which you have the common element as sugar what is the strength of sugar in the solution a or in the mixture a it is going to be two parts out of a total of five parts so i'm writing the strength of sugar as 2 by 5 what is the strength of sugar in the next one it is going to be 3 by 10 he combines the mixture a and b in the ratio of 2 to 3 so he is taking two parts of this and he is taking three parts of this in order to form a mixture c now in order to form a mixture C, I know the strength of sugar in the first one. I know the strength of the sugar in the second one. I know the ratio in which they are getting mixed. I can figure out the strength of sugar in this mixture that we are creating. This mixture is nothing but C. Okay. So 3 by 10 is 30 percent, 2 by 5 is 40 percent. A is creating a surplus and B is creating a deficit. So what equation are you going to make? You are going to make 2 by 5 minus of x into 2 to be equals to x minus of 3 by 10 into 3. We will just have to solve it for the value of x. You are going to get 4 by 5 minus 2x is equals to 3x minus of 9 by 10. If you go further, you are going to get 5x to be equals to 8 by 10. Just for the sake of calculation being easier, I'm going to write 8 plus 10 by 9 by 10. 8 by 10 is nothing but 4 by 5. So I'm using the same value. So 17 by 10 is equals to 5x. That means that the value of x that I'm generating over here is 17 by 50. This is the strength of sugar in my mixture C that we have prepared. Now, what is the question saying? If he mixes C with an equal amount of milk, so you have C in which the strength of sugar is 17 by 50, correct? You are mixing it with milk which has got zero sugar in it. And you are mixing the equal quantity of C with equal quantity of milk. So the ratio of mixture turns out to be one is to one. If I want to find out the final strength of sugar in this resultant mixture, then what is going? what is it going to be? Now, if you look at this, these are two equal quantities. So the mixture will have an average quantity of this exactly at the middle. Even if you want to make that equation, you can certainly make that equation 17 by 50 minus of y into 1 is going to be equals to y minus of 0 into 1. If you solve this further, you are going to get the value of y as 17 by 100. This means that the mixture that you are creating for with C and milk will have what strength of sugar in it? 17 by 100, 17 parts out of a total of 100 parts, which is 17 percentage as the sugar quantity in this mixture. So option B, 17 percentage will be the answer for this question.